this unit is our STP01 DRU01 EX. It's designed to work in hazardous areas that require equipment to compl be compliant with the ATEX directive. It uses compressed air to power the lift and the rotation of the drum is done via a manual gearbox. So first thing we need to do we adjust the height of the band and we do that by operating the lift from the back panel here. So we press an operate button first and then operate the lift and lower lever. So we're just simply adjusting the height of the band to suit the height of the drum. We then ensure the brakes are released from the unit and we wheel the unit forward until the band goes round the drum. I can see from this position that the band is in the mid position which is where it needs to be. I then come forward to the front of the unit and we attach the ratchet strap. We connect this to the front door of the unit so the doors are closed with the ratchet snap strap connected. We then pull the slack out and tighten up the band. We have a secondary device here which is called a rim clamp. This goes underneath the drum and you can adjust the height of this. And what this does, it grabs hold of the top lip of the drum. It's very useful on slippy plastic drums where the band may slip up the drum. So we can adjust the height of this. I need to take it down just one position. All this is covered in the operation manual with pictures and diagrams showing you how to do this. So it goes under the lip, then we spin the lock nut down. So it's nice and secure. Ready to lift. Before we lift the drum, apply the brakes. Then we have an operate button here, and then we press this, then we pull back on the lever to lift. There's also an emergency stop fitted on the panel, so we press this emergency stop, then we have no power to lift or lower, everything is locked in place. To reset the emergency stop, we just turn it clockwise till the button pops back up. The airline here can be connected into the left or the right hand side of the panel, depending on which way it's more convenient to run the airline. If we disconnect the airline, the unit is hydraulically locked, so nothing will change or move. We then move forward to the rotator head. We have this fold out gearbox handle. So we can flip this down, and as we turn the handle, we tip the drum. And again, put the drum back into the vertical. Once the drum's in the vertical, you can pull the handle out and fold it out of the way. I'm going to lower the drum now down to the floor, press the operate button, next thing we need to do is release the ratchet first, undo the D-ring the front. Release the toggle, clamp, then we need to, the arms slide in and out. So just move the arm out slightly, just gives you a little bit of slack so when we bring the unit backwards it releases the drum. Release our brakes. We have a rear handle here that operates the rear wheel steering. So it's very easy to manoeuvre the unit around. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you adjusting the band for smaller size drum, so we'll put a smaller Mauser drum in the clamping head. Right, I'm now going to show you fitting this smaller drum into this head. And this unit can handle lots of different size drums, even the way down to small 50 litre drums, 
steel and plastic all the way up to 205 litres. So we want to reduce the circumference of the band to go around this. So these arms here will slide in and out. So we can slide the arms in a little bit, create a little bit more space there. Reduce the space in the head. And then here at the back, we have two pins here and there's a series of holes. And what we can do is we can disconnect the band and we can slot it closer together to reduce the circumference of the back band to go around the drum. So the first thing to do, pull out the pins. So you see there's two R pins, these are the locking pins. We can hold on to the band, disconnect it, and then move it closer into the next position. As soon as they're connected through, we can actually put the R pins back in. That locks the band section together. We now are ready to push the unit into the drum. Now we can see there as we pushed it in, the band is a little bit high, so we need to reduce the height of the band and take that down to just below the mid point of the drum. We do that by pressing the operate button and lower on the head. So we're in the correct position there. Now connect the ratchet strap. Pull the slack out again, keeping the ratchet in your right hand. Just nice and comfortable. And we have the rim clamp here, which is too high currently to go underneath the lip. So we can reduce the height of this by taking a pin out and just lowering it down. Refixing the pin. And normally for this style of drum, if we're going to be tipping it, we'd be taking the lid off. And this is quite happy to pick those drums up, quite safe to pick them up with or without the lid. Now we're just going to clamp onto the top lip. Bring it up, spin the nut open, so it goes over the top there, so the lip of this clamp sits in the recess of the drum. Wind the nut down. So that's it, we're secure now on the top, we're secure around the circumference, we're ready to lift. Before we lift the drum, put the brakes on. We press the operate button. Again, move forward, click out the folding lever and tip the drum.